What's up guys, it's Days Moody here with another quick, uh, not so quick tutorial for you today. Alright, we're going to be making this cool texty background type thing. It's got the awesome text in the background, nice wispy. You know, it's pretty cool, I think you agree. And I haven't got much time, so let's get into it. Alright, starting off with a... Let's see. 1280 by 720 resolution. And first of all, I'm going to give you these two textures, which I'm going to include in the link. All of the project files that we used today, I'll also include in the link. So, no need to worry if you don't have them as yet. So first of all, we're going to just press Ctrl or Command U uh, for hue and saturation. And we're just going to drag the saturation down to negative 100 to drain the color out. So then Ctrl or Command A, Ctrl or Command C. And we're just going to paste it in to our blank canvas. Let's just zoom out a bit and show transform controls. Hold down shift to keep the aspect ratio. And that's about right. Just drag it up a little bit and zoom in. We want that dark bit in the middle and once we've got that we want to apply transformation and then press Control I. Why not? Let's just see. There we go. Okay, now press Control I to invert the colors, and now it looks cool. So we can get rid of our grunge now. We have no more use for it. And now we're moving on to our watercolor. So we're going to do a similar thing. All right. So we're going to Control or Command U. Hue and saturation, drag down the saturation, OK, and go to image, image rotation, and 90 degrees clockwise, and control command A, copy it, and just paste it into the document. Scroll out a bit because these are very large files that I'm giving you, but they're great quality, and it's definitely worth it. Okay, zoom in a bit. And it looks about right. We just want to apply transformation, control I, and we want to change blend mode to screen. And that's a cool thing, relatively easy. So let's move on. Alright, next thing we want to add is our text in the background, which is what you see around here. Now I've prepared, I've just got this Martin King Luther speech. It's a significant speech, it's cool, it's got meaning, and it's a big block of text. So what you want to do is grab your horizontal text tool and I'm just going to drag that all along here so the text stays within these boxes. And then just press Ctrl V. Alright, we want a nice font like Arial. Size 8 will be good. Or depending on your canvas size. And we want to add some effects to this. So we're going to start off with a drop shadow. We want blend mode screen. Distance 2, size 2. Actually, we'll know we'll make a size 5 just to make it stand up a little bit more. And we want to go to outer glow. Blend mode. We want color dodge. That's important. It gives a cool metallic -y kind of effect, I guess. Opacity at 75%. Size at 5%. Spread 0. And then press OK. Alright, now we just want to duplicate this layer. And as you can see, it's very, very confronting. So we're just going to right-click on effects. And we want to clear the layer style. And that's a bit better. Alright, so with our text tool, we just want to go to Control or Command A. Select all the text, and we just want to change the text color to black. And we're ready to move on. Alright, now we want, I don't know if you guys have used this tool before, the horizontal type mask tool. So it has a habit of. Uh, selecting the other text unless you hold down shift. So make sure you're holding down shift 
and just click and this will come up. We want a nice thick font such as Impact, that'll be good. Uh, size 100 points. Enter. So, days media, you can write whatever you want of course. And this is the clever bit, you don't you do not want to apply the changes yet or else you're gonna have to start this bit again. So hold down control and from there you can move it however you want it. And because you're holding down control, you can just rotate a little bit. Looks pretty good. And once you're finished, you just want to apply the changes. And here you've got the selection. Right, so next we want to go into layer and layer mask, reveal selection. As you can see, it's just basically said I want to select everything but what I've got here. So, yes, you can't really read it that well, so we want to add some color into it. So you want to create a new layer. There we go, and make sure you hold down control and just click on the selection there. And text comes up again. Let's go to your paint bucket tool and change the black and just fill. And that's a bit heavy obviously, so just change the blend mode to overlay. That's a bit dark still. We'll go soft light and that's a bit better. Alright, it's looking good guys. We're just gonna go next to what's this? We're gonna go add a gradient map. Uh just click on this, change the gradient. We want the dark color, we want a bit of a dark red. Um, okay, and light color. We want a very light pink. And that looks good. And it's a bit heavy again, so we'll change blend mode to. I reckon overlay in this case. Alright, so we're starting to get somewhere. Next, we want to create one more layer. And we're going to get our special brushes. Alright, um, you won't get any of this, so we just. Alright, so we've got a normal brushes here, but I've given you a set of brushes to work with, uh, which is included in the projects files packages that's in the link below. So make sure you grab that, and you just want to go click on that, and load brushes. Just import, it's called Abstract Lines Volume 1. Load them in, and they'll be down here. There's some really awesome brushes here. Uh, let's try this one. Just want to change the foreground color to white. And just click a few times. You want a bit heavier in the middle there. And let's grab another brush. Uh, I actually like this one a lot. Just grab it crisscross there. And it looks fairly messy now, so we just want to go change it to overlay. As you can see, it's created a really awesome background. It's a wispy, wispy kind of effect. And guys, if you've managed to get this far, well done, I commend you. And thanks for watching. This is another tutorial by Days Media. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.